Did you know that electronic waste is one of the fastest growing waste streams in the world? Old circuit boards, or PCBs, are a major part of this problem. But what if we told you these discarded boards could be turned into valuable resources? Today, we're taking you inside a 100 kilograms per hour small-scale PCB recycling line to show you how it's done. Let's dive in. Part 1. PCB Components Removal The first step is removing the electronic components from the boards. Why? Because many of these components contain precious metals like gold, silver, and palladium. Our PCB dismantling machine uses heat to loosen the solder, safely detaching the components without damaging the board. During this process, harmful fumes are released. That's why we've integrated a fume purification system to ensure the air stays clean and safe. Once the components are removed, they're collected for further processing to extract those valuable metals. What's left is a clean, bare motherboard, ready for the next stage of recycling. Part 2. Motherboard Shredding and Sorting Now, the motherboards move to the shredding stage. Our dual shaft shredder breaks them down into smaller pieces, making them easier to process in the next steps. Next, the shredded pieces go into a hammer crusher, which further reduces their size. This step ensures the material is finely ground, preparing it for the final separation process. The crushed material then enters a grinding mill, where it's pulverized into a fine powder. From there, an airflow separator divides the lighter non-metals from the heavier metals. Finally, the material passes through an electrostatic separator, which uses electrical charges to achieve a precise separation of metals and non-metals. The result? High-purity metals like copper, ready for reuse, and non-metals that can be safely disposed of or further processed. By the end of this process, what was once electronic waste is now a source of valuable raw materials. It's a perfect example of how innovation can turn trash into treasure. Recycling PCBs isn't just about recovering valuable metals, it's about reducing e-waste, protecting the environment, and creating a sustainable future. And with a 100 kilograms per hour capacity, this small-scale recycling line is perfect for businesses or facilities looking to start their e-waste recycling journey without the need for massive infrastructure. Whether you're in the recycling industry or simply passionate about sustainability, this is the kind of technology that's shaping the future. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into recycling and resource recovery. Let's build a greener future together.